guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today we're going to be taking a look at the pictures that have been released for the new toys from the new movie, Rampage. So Rampage, from what I've read, uh, is a video game that consists of a, a giant gorilla, a giant crocodile, and a giant wolf fighting together. I don't know quite how it plays, um, if it's kind of a Street Fighter, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of thing, but... It's a game, and they're making it into a movie, and it has Dwayne The Rock Johnson, so of course it's going to be good. So it's very interesting. These toys are being made by Lannard Toys. They are, they are the exact same people that made the Kong toys. And this movie stars a giant ape, and Kong stars a giant ape, so it looks like Lannard is the king of giant apes, and giant they are. So Lannard is releasing three classes of figures. They're releasing... The smaller class, which are going to be called Canister Contact. Then they're, re re they're releasing the next size up, called Big City Brawl. And then they're releasing the large Mega George. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So starting off with the canister contact class of figures. This is going to be a $10 range, small pack, that's going to include a figure, surroundings, like a little bit of settings, guns, and your monster figure. There are three main monsters in which each class, they get bigger just as they do in the movie, which is awesome. So starting off, here is George and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yes, people, they are making a Dwayne The Rock Johnson face, and it looks awesome. So, here's George. Uh, he's, like, I guess the main hero of the movie. He's Dwayne The Rock Johnson's, like... He's been taking care of George for a long time. So, you can see that there's some sort of broken pieces in the back. Maybe it's, like, the zoo that he was at. You can see some guns, some packs. And each one comes with a canister that mutates them into the bigger, larger animal. So, uh, you can kind of see that next to the sniper rifle right there. So, that is George. Moving on to the next creature, this is the giant crocodile and it's called Lizzie. Kind of an odd name for a crocodile, but okay. Uh, so Lizzie comes with Lizzie, of course, a small crocodile, then a bunch of guns, and then it looks like it comes with another canister, and this looks like the same boat that came with the creature contact, so I think Lannard likes calling things contacts. This is the creature contact set that came with that boat. And it's a very nice little boat. I know Lannard reuses their toys, uh, but it's very cool. And it comes with a little unbranded, un, uh, like, identifiable guy. It's just a generic guy. Uh, what I find really interesting about this, this is just a little bit of a side note, uh, is that they're not reusing any of these molds for these creatures. Lizzie, at first I thought, looked like a crocodile that I had when I was little. But this is a new sculpt, so I really, really like that, Lannard. Next, taking a look at the Subject Ralph. That's what they're calling him. They're calling this wolf thing Ralph. Um, once again, new sculpt. Uh, you can see he comes with some rocket launchers and another generic guy that they have. Uh, there's like some barbed wire in the back and his canister. And I think it just looks like a nice figure. I like the packaging on this. Looks very much like the Kong one. Uh, it says Rampage the Movie, Ready to Destroy. Genetic Container, I can't tell what that says right there. Genetic Containment Division, that's what it says. And then you can see some artwork on the side of Lizzie, Ralph, and George. Very cool. Now moving on to the next class of figure. These are, I think, $14 to $15 sets, just like in Kong, how it started. Creature Contact was 10 Then it went to the vehicle sets, which was 15 So I'm guessing this will be 15 This is the Big City Brawl set. And once again, this is all three main monsters, but in their larger form. So as you can see here, here's George looking very nice. Looks like he has some articulation up in the shoulder. George is an albino gorilla, which is very interesting to me, because I know this isn't in the Monsterverse, but Kong had his movie in 1933, and then also in 1933, nine months later, was a movie called Son of Kong, and he was a smaller gorilla, and he was albino, just like George. So, Little Kong... I don't know if this is Lil Kong, but as you can see, it comes with George. It comes with a generic uh, helicopter. It doesn't look too good, <laughs> honestly. It looks kind of cheapy. And then it comes with a character, which, uh, you know, looks fine. 
helicopter dude, and it comes with some barbed wire, but definitely, I think that's worth it for George. It looks like he has some nice articulation. Now here's Ralph, looking very awesome, looking like a warg from Lord of the Rings. As you can see, Ralph has some sort of scar on his belly, and he's really long ears and spines along his spine. Uh, looks like he's got great paint, and from uh, what I know from Leonard, they keep up with their paint, you know? They don't skimp, which is very nice. Uh, the quality of plastic probably could be improved a little bit, but it doesn't feel too bad. And he looks like he comes with some sort of destroyed car, which I haven't seen in Lantern Toys before, so it looks like a new sculpt. And he comes with another generic guy. Still very cool, and it looks like he has jaw chomping action, so maybe you pull back on his back legs and he chomps. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Now here is Subject Lizzie. Uh, I definitely think this is the coolest of the Big City Brawl set. Look at this crocodile. Absolutely insane. Looks like it's got great painting. There's going to be a tail that you have to clip on because it's going to be too long. It's a huge figure. It comes with your generic guy. It doesn't come with any like buildings or anything or like little helicopters. Uh, but it looks like an awesome figure. And it also look, looks like it has jaw chomping action. Uh, and those giant horns on the front. It looks like it got gills on the side coming out. Great paint. And it looks like it's just amazing. That is so cool. Okay, now guys, before I show you, I mean, it's going to be the thumbnail, but before I show you this awesome figure that I'm about to show, I didn't know that this was coming out. This morning when I woke up, I saw that Methlo Kaiju posted a video that they're making these toys, and I'm like, whoa, Lannard is making toys for Rampage. Awesome. So I watched it, and I'm like, whoa, those are cool. And then initially, I only saw the first three uh, City Brawl sets, um, and I'm like, that looks really cool. And then right now, when I was doing some research to make this video, I found this. Lannard is making a mega-sized George, just like their Kong that they made. You can see, standing alongside that George right there, is Kong. And it looks like he's going to be about the same size, maybe a little bit larger. Uh, right there, he looks a little bit pale, but I mean, he is an albino gorilla. And he looks awesome, guys. It looks like he comes with a Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And they're calling this guy Mega George. I didn't know this was coming out, and I'm so stoked. It just looks so cool. And I have an out-of-package shot where it shows this guy in a quadrupedal pose. So just before I show you that, you can see right here that it looks like at his elbows he has like a ball hinge joint. It looks like at his shoulders he has ball hinge joint. It looks like his head can rotate and his legs can uh, pivot, uh, which Kong could not do. Which uh, was kind of a missed opportunity, but maybe would have taken away the structural uh, integrity of it. It also looks like he has swivels at the wrist, but uh, awesome looking figure. And it looks like it's only going to be $20. I know what I'm getting with my next allowance. Uh, but let's just look straight at the other one. So here's George in his quadrupedal pose, looking amazing. Look at that. I thought they might have reused pieces from Kong, but then I looked and no, there's nothing reused. Uh, the proportions are completely different. Heads different, arms different, hands different. Kong has huge hands. This one has proper little ape uh, knuckle walking hands. And look at that. And also you can see right here, this is a better look at the other figures coming out. So you got your smaller class where he's a regular gorilla next to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Then he goes to his about nine foot class, um, which he does in the movie, I think. And then he goes to his like Kong size, 1933 Kong sized 22-20 foot uh, size. And you can see they have Dwayne on top of him. I'm definitely going to get all three of these figures. Uh, it just looks amazing. And for only $20, I have to have him standing alongside my Kong. So there you go, guys. There was a look at those new Rampage toys from Lannard Toys. Guys, I really got to tell you, I'm so glad Lannard is back with uh, some more licenses and <laughs> they're doing more, you know, ape figures, which I like. Uh, I'm so glad that they're back in here. I didn't want them to be a one-time run with Kong because they did good. And the thing about Lannard is that their toys are cheap, but quality. It reminds me of when I was younger. When I was younger, any movie that would come out that had any kind of action, you know, superheroes, monsters, it got toys. Narnia back then got toys. And I remember them. 
Lannard is giving me this old feel of going into KB Toys and seeing all kinds of toys from my favorite movies. These days, there's just not enough of that with these big corporations like Hasbro and stuff. Just, you know, messing up all these uh, lovely, wonderful franchises. And this reminds me, I don't know where I'm going to put all these figures. I don't know if I got space. And I feel the same way for Jurassic World. Y'all, I don't know if I'm ready for the Jurassic World figures. These are looking too cool. I just, I, I can't wait. But yeah, guys, these, these, these Rampage figures are looking awesome. I hope you guys like them. Please tell me down in the comments what you thought of them. Uh, they look awesome, and I can't wait to buy them. It looks like in some places they're already out, so I don't want to go to Walmart too soon, because then I'll be like, I need them all now, but hey, you never know. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!